Welcome dear viewers, to the McBrowser channel and another fascinating journey through history. Today our destination is the picturesque medieval St. Edburgers churchyard in the Old Yardley Conservation Area in Birmingham, England, a place steeped in centuries of stories, secrets and sacred moments. Join me as we unravel the tapestry of time and explore the rich history of this remarkable site. Our story begins over a thousand years ago, in the heart of England. St. Edburga's church, named after the Anglo-Saxon princess Edburga, was founded in the 8th century. A testament to the enduring nature of faith, this place of worship has stood the test of time, witnessing the ebb and flow of centuries. The nave, north aisle and Becket chapel date from the 14th and 15th centuries. The church tower and spire date from 1461, though the central section of the spire dates from 1898 as a result of restoration work carried out in that year. A notable feature around the church are scraped incisions in the base of the tower. The cause of these is unknown, but it is believed that they may be either sharpening marks for weapons or the collection of holy dust. One cannot help but be captivated by the architectural beauty of St. Edburga's church. The church's Norman tower dating back to the 12th century stands proudly, a sentinel to the changing tides of history. Its walls tell stories of the medieval craftsmen who shaped them, and the communities that gathered within. Venture inside, and you'll discover a treasure trove of stained glass windows, ancient stone carvings, and a palpable sense of spirituality. Each corner of the church is a chapter in the unfolding narrative of Yardley's history. St. Edburga's churchyard has been a silent witness to pivotal moments in history. During the English Civil War in the 17th century, the churchyard provided sanctuary for those seeking refuge from the chaos of conflict. The very ground we stand upon has felt the footsteps of soldiers and the prayers of the desperate. In the 16th century, another notable figure found a connection to St. Edburgers, Catherine of Aragon, the first wife of King Henry VIII. Yardley was one of the properties granted to Catherine as part of her divorce settlement. An unusual feature is the doorway on the north aisle of the church, which has the Tudor rose and pomegranate carved above the archway in celebration of the marriage of Henry VIII's older brother Prince Arthur and Catherine of Aragon. After her death, Yardley reverted to Henry VIII. In the centuries that followed, St. Edburgers continued to evolve, reflecting the changing times and tastes of its parishioners. The headstones and memorials in the churchyard tell tales of individuals who played roles both large and small in shaping the community. As we fast forward to the present day, St. Edburgers churchyard remains a cherished space for both locals and visitors alike. It serves as a tranquil retreat from the hustle and bustle of modern life a place where the past and present coalesce in a harmonious dance. As we conclude our journey through the annals of time at St. Edburgers Churchyard, let us reflect on the profound connection between the past and the present. May the stories embedded in these sacred grounds inspire us to appreciate the richness of our shared human history. Until next time, thank you for joining me on this historical exploration.